We'll start with interesting inventions and make our way to the ones that could have changed history. Greek fire. Greek fire was an incendiary weapon used by the Eastern Roman Empire. It was used to set enemy ships on fire as it could be ignited on contact with water. The Byzantines typically used it in naval battles to a great effect as it could continue burning while floating on water. This technology was kept a secret to the rest of the world for strategic reasons, but the Romans were so good at keeping secrets, they ended up forgetting themselves what the formula was. Roman flexible glass. It was a type of glass that could be bent without breaking. It was invented during the Roman Empire and was used to make vessels such as cups and bowls. The legend says that the inventor of flexible glass brought a drinking bowl made of the material before Tiberius Caesar. The bowl was put through a test to break it, but it merely dented rather than shattering. The inventor repaired the bowl very easily with a small hammer. After the inventor swore that he was the only man alive who knew the manufacturing technique, Tiberius had the men beheaded. He feared that the glass would devalue gold and silver, since the material might be more valuable. Ancient Greek fireproofing. The method involved mixing a secret ingredient with clay and applying it to the wood. The result was a structure that was resistant to fire and could withstand the test of time. Baghdad battery. It is a set of three artifacts that date back to the second century BC. The artifacts consist of a clay shar, a copper cylinder and an iron rod. When filled with an acidic substance such as vinegar or wine, the shard could have been used as a battery to produce an electric current. The purpose of the battery is still unknown, but it is believed to have been used for electroplating or electrotherapy. An automaton was a self-operating machine or robot, often designed to resemble a human or animal, that was first described by ancient Greek engineers. Automatons were used in ancient times for entertainment purposes and were often designed to perform simple tasks such as pouring wine or playing music. Chinese South Pointing Chariot This was a chariot that always pointed south regardless of its orientation using a differential gear mechanism. It was invented during the second century BC and was used for navigation and military purposes. The design for the chariot was lost after the Han Dynasty, but it inspired the development of other navigational instruments such as the magnetic compass. The Antiketira Mechanism The Antiketira Mechanism is considered the world's oldest analog computer. It was discovered by a group of sponge divers off the coast of Greece. The mechanism was used to predict astronomical positions and eclipses for calendaric and astrological purposes. It is believed to have been constructed in the 1st century BC and its complexity was not much until the development of astronomical clocks more than a millennium later. Lycurgus Cup The Lycurgus Cup was a Roman glass cage cup that changed color depending on the direction of light. It was made of dichronic glass which shows a different color depending on whether or not light is passing through it. Damascus Steel Damascus steel was a type of steel used in sword making that was known for its strength and sharpness. Damascus steel blades were nicknamed Eternal Edge and were way superior to any other European swords of the time. The technique for making Damascus steel was lost during the Crusades, but modern metallurgists have attempted to recreate it using various methods. Roman Concrete Roman concrete was a type of concrete used in ancient Rome that was way more durable than modern concrete. Recent research shows that the incorporation of mixtures of different types of lime formed little gaps that allowed the concrete to self-repair cracks using only rainwater. They theorized that as water entered cracks in the concrete, it could dissolve the chunks of calcium. Then, the dissolved chemicals could recrystallize, filling the cracks and strengthening the structure. Roman dodecahedron. Entering the realm of lost uses, we have the Roman dodecahedron, a small hollow object made of bronze or stone that had 12 flat pentagonal faces with a circular hole in the center of each face. 
it is assumed to have been of great use to the Romans, but its purpose has been lost in time. It is believed to have been used as a measuring instrument, a religious artifact or an astronomical device. So yeah, pretty much anything. Roman aqueducts, they were constructed using arches and gravity to move water from one place to another and they were used to supply water to cities, towns and farms throughout the Roman Empire. After the fall of the Roman Empire, such a complex aqueduct system would never be seen again. Viking sandstone, the Viking sandstone was a crystal believed to have been used by Viking navigators to locate the position of the sun on cloudy days. It was discovered in 2013 on an Elizabethan shipwreck and how it exactly worked has been forgotten. Yellow pie. The yellow pie was an ancient steam engine invented by Hero of Alexandria that was used to demonstrate the power of steam. It is considered to be the first recorded steam engine and although it was not a practical source of power, the principles for its functioning wouldn't return to light until the Industrial Revolution in the 18th century. The Iron Pillar of Delhi is a 7 meter tall iron pillar located in India. It was constructed during the Gupta Empire and has stood for over 1600 years without rusting or corroding significantly. The pillar's composition has been analyzed and found to contain high levels of phosphorus, which may have contributed to its corrosion resistance. Hydraulic telegraph. It was an ancient communication system that used water to transmit messages over long distances. The device consisted of a barrel filled with water with a spigot. Inside it, there was a stick with a series of written messages. When the spigot was opened, the water level would drop to reach the message that was intended to be conveyed, at which point it would be closed again. The opening and closing of the spigot were signalized by another person standing at a distance with a torch that they would extinguish when the desired level was reached. The ancient Egyptian toothpaste, it was a mixture of crushed rocks, salt, mint, dried iris flour and pepper that was used to clean teeth in ancient Egypt. The toothpaste was abrasive and helped remove plaque from teeth. The Chinese seismometer. It was an ancient device used to detect earthquakes. It consisted of eight metal dragons, each holding a ball in its mouth. When an earthquake occurred, the ball would drop into the mouth of a metal toad below, indicating the direction of the earthquake. And that was the last one, bye.